Let's play America's game. That's right, Wheel of Fortune. You know what? This would make a great stage. You could decorate this and have a game show event for your entire BBS. So here's what I did. I actually put these large stickers that say game show on some trifold boards. Let me show you. They're just the regular trifold boards that you get at Hobby Lobby or wherever you get yours. And I bent them the opposite way. I bought black ones. So when I put the stickers on, they would cover it up, but you could still see. And then there's little coins you can put on both sides. So you could have as many as four contestants come up on your stage for game and four contestants for show. And it would work. And you could have a game show as your stage for Vacation Bible School. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the, the Wheel of Fortune part. The actual board back here, super easy to put together, and I only used some push pins in order to hold the letters. I made the letters with Word. Our spaces are exactly a half sheet of a piece of copy paper. So when I ran it on copy paper, you could see through it, and you know the kids will cheat. So go ahead and do it on cardstock. And whenever they guess a letter, all you have to do is turn it around and they've got it. So here we go, twists and turns, they'll figure it out. And you can play the game with using the letters for every day, like maybe the Bible verse or, or the Bible truth for the day, that could be your puzzle. So it could be a lot of fun for the boys and girls as you're introducing what we're learning today. Now some have asked, what about this wheel? Well, let me tell you, this is a great prop, but if you want to make it into an actual functioning wheel, you can. Let me tell you how. It's two stickers, and I put them on the full sheets of foam board, and then I put another foam sheets underneath it going the opposite way and cut it out. So it would be a little bit thicker, but I found it's still too flimsy to actually turn. So you're going to need some wood under this because it really does require it to be a little more stiff. What I did was I actually used some uh, threaded uh, bolts as well as nuts and large washers. And I've got pictures of all of that on the website. You can see in the store exactly how I put that together. Super easy to do. I poked it with a pencil and then pushed it through and put those, the nut down on it so that they're nice and stiff. But how do you make it turn? Yeah, that's the big question. Well, if you do have a piece of wood under it to support it, I'm gonna say go and find that closet that has the, the dead office chairs in it, and you're gonna get one of those, take the back, take the arms off, and then you've got a turning pedestal with the seat, and strap that wood to the seat, and then adhere this to the wood so that way you can actually spin it, and it would work. Of course, you're gonna need one of those clicker things like you used to put on your bicycle when you were a kid so that it sounded like when the spokes went around, you could hear it clicking. Well, you'll need that here too. It makes a great prop, but you can make it a functioning game if you want to. This will be a fun thing to do. Now, what if you didn't use the wheel? You could still have the game show, the Wheel of Fortune board, and use a large die like the inflatable game dice that we have and put a different sheet in each one. Maybe it's a point value, maybe it's a bankrupt, maybe it's a vowel only. And so when they roll that die, then they get to make their guess for a letter on the board. And you could play that in a classroom where you don't have to take up all your space with this giant wheel. This could be a fun thing to make for your, for your kids in your classroom or on your stage. I got the fringe from Walmart and added a little pizzazz. You might want to add some string lights. That would be really cool too. This would be a great way to introduce your Vacation Bible School and you could play this year round. It'd be a great fixture to have to use with your kids as you're learning Bible skills and Bible verses.